to see Mr. Howell. Is everything all right? Yes, sir. We just got a little carried away, right? I played golf with your father last week. Tell him he owes me a rematch. I will, sir. Is this young man your guest? He's Edward Quartermain's great-grandson, Michael. Michael, I'm Chip Howell, president of the club. I'm glad to see another generation of Quartermains enjoying our facilities. How is old Edward, by the way? Haven't seen him in a while. He's fine. Good. Bring him in with you one of these days. And if you need to roughhouse, take it off the club grounds. Edward Quartermain's grandson? Well, you are. Yeah, you're also my sister, and Sonny Corinthos is our father. It's not Kay's fault. Her father's a gangster. Michael! Stop it, both of you! Crazy. What in God's name is going on here? Uh, Michael lost it. He just attacked me for no reason. No reason? Are you kidding me? Look at him. The guy's out of control. Young man, this sort of behavior is not acceptable on club grounds. You're telling me? You're telling me? This guy has been spoiling for a fight. Christina, tell him. Tell him. I think you better tell Mr. How what happened, Kay. It's not Michael's fault. He had brain surgery. He's still recovering. He doesn't like to talk about it. Well, I'm sorry for your condition, but that's no excuse to be attacking other club members. Screw you. I tried to contact Edward Quartermain, but he's unreachable. I'll have to talk to your parents. Go ahead. I'll need a number where they can be reached. Michael's mom lives close by. Yeah, so does Dad. What's your mom's number? Five 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 zero zero two six. Is there anything else I can do for you, sir? No, Kiefer, you're free to go. Thank you. I'd like to take Christina home. This whole incident was pretty upsetting to her. Go ahead. You don't have to babysit your brain damaged brother. You didn't have to hit him. Mother is working, as always. Looks like we got the place to ourselves. Oh, the change for Amy's party. Oh, aren't you worried about me? After your crazy brother pounded on me? He managed to survive. Oh, I don't know. Oh. I think I might be injured. Going. Come on, Kay. We both know why you brought me back here. I told you, Kiefer, I'm not ready. Look, I am sick of that excuse. It's not an excuse. It's how I feel. Just, <laughs> I need more time. Kay, we've been together for months. I mean, I'm serious about you. I even put up with your retard brother. Don't call him that. Okay, all right, fine. Your brain damaged brother. Okay, and I haven't said a word about your mom sleeping with the mayor. You've been really great. Yeah. Now you can be great to me. I said no! Seventy-five percent of teens have either known someone or been in an abusive relationship. It could be your best friend, the guy you work with, or even you. The National Teen Dating Abuse Helpline has peer advocates who can help you recognize the red flags. Call 866-331-9474 or visit loversrespect.org.